Coach Johnny Cook went to school on Thursday only to be told there'd be a substitute in for him on Friday so he could attend a meeting with school administrators. That was the first he knew about his suspension arising from the allegations. The charges against Mr. Cook, and right now they are only charges emanating from complaints from five female students, range from making sexual or social advances or attempting to, to fondling, to committing sexual intercourse with a female student on school property after school hours. We absolutely deny any improprieties or wrongdoing on Mr. Cook's part, uh, and he's at a tremendous disadvantage in not knowing when they're supposed to have occurred, uh, what hours of the day. Or for that matter, says Bridges, any other details about the alleged acts. During school hours, Cook is in charge of what is known as in-school suspension for disciplinary problems. And some of these children have been, I think, in his punishment classes now, whether any of the allegations emanate from any resentment for that or not, uh, I really don't know. The 41-year-old father of one coaches football and baseball at Green Run High. Cook has two weeks to file his grievance to fight the charges. Meanwhile, he continues on the school payroll, even though he's not working. Now, because this is a personnel matter, and a very sensitive one at that, word has been scarce. They've been mum here at Green Run High School and downtown at the school administration building. One thing we do know is that the allegations have, in fact, been made, and we also know that Mr. Cook plans to fight them. He'll fight the charges, he said, through the Board of Education grievance hearings process and into the courts, if need be. In Virginia Beach, Howard Joffe, The Daily News.